We've got another internal wall insulation project. Second one this week, guys. I'm in Radford in Coventry and we've got um, a kitchen today. Um, condensation problems. So on these two outside walls here and along the headers here, um, lots and lots of condensation forming, um, which then goes on to cause black spot mold. And um, black spot mold can be harmful if left untreated, if it's left to um, fester. Um, also, it causes a lot of dramas with your paint. So on this particular wall, around this area, the paint was peeling away. Um, customer was painting over the top and it just wouldn't bond and adhere um, to the surface due to the levels of condensation. Now, oftentimes condensation is um, made worse by the material that is on the wall, in this case sand and cement. So we've got a, a solid wall, no cavity. Um, the mortar beds on the outside are not great, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so sand and cement is impervious. So if you're cooking and whatnot and you've got steam being created in the kitchen um, the ceiling's fine that's got uh, mineral wool in there so that's insulated double glazing so that's good but with a solid wall with sand and cement on it's a cold wall what we would call a cold wall so um, any moisture that's created will be attracted to these cold walls almost like a magnet the droplets stick to the surface it often goes unnoticed when you're busy hustle bustle of family life um, those droplets then uh, go on to form black spot mold so that's what causes the black spot mold guys so um, by insulating these outside walls we've put a 30 mil xps insulation on there and what that will do um, is create a barrier between that cold surface um, and the inside so again 30 mil of um, XPS insulation which, which is extruded polystyrene um, give a really good level of thermal value around 35 to 40 percent thermal improvement um, also helps with things like sound etc and you'll have a brand new plaster finish as well ready for paint so we've insulated these walls um, we've prepped it all, beaded it off, taped all the joints. Everything's completely sealed and airtight. So it's ready for plastering. Um, now let me show you the outside. So again, solid brick wall and some of the mortar beds. Are starting to deteriorate over time you can see a crack here look over time driven rain will, will work its way through there some cracks there as well the driven rain will work its way in um, and can cause uh, penetrating damp as well which is another kettle of fish we'll talk about that on another video um, but that's going to cause long-term issues so we're going to be um, rendering the outside for them at some point um, and we're going to use a product called cork sole I'll put a link to cork sole in the description in this video cork sole is quite a new product um, it's made from cork hence the name and what they do they grind up the cork and they mix it with resin um, and we actually spray apply the cork insulation um, onto internal and external surfaces and it has a number of benefits again hit the link and you can read all about it but what's um, interesting about cork sole is it's only applied at six millimeters thick and at just six millimeters thick you can get a 30 percent thermal improvement so if for example you've got a you know a child's box bedroom and you are limited for space and you don't fancy putting an insulation plasterboard on like we have here 
um, you can opt for the cork so so have a look at that again lots of lot lots and lots of uh, benefits to cork so it's breathable it's flexible um, it's fireproof as a acoustic um, it's an acoustic insulator and again thermal improvement by 30 percent um, so yeah have a look at that um, any questions or if you've got a project in the Warwickshire area you'd like a quotation hit the link below Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video.